Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to Solid Gold. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about what is the proper way to acclimate a new fish and add a new fish to your aquarium, and most importantly, why it's the proper way. A lot of times when you're buying a new fish online, it's going to be shipped to you either by FedEx or UPS, which means it's going to be in the shipping bag a lot longer than a fish would be in a bag for if you just bought it from your local pet store and drove it home. So the way to acclimate a fish that's been shipped to you may be a little bit different than you might think. So here's the proper way to acclimate a new fish. First of all, you want to make sure that your home when your fish arrives or at least you maybe you were close by and you're watching the tracking closely so you know right when your fish is delivered and you can leave work on a lunch break say for example and go home and make sure you're there right away when the fish gets there you do not want the fish box sitting out in the sun or maybe it's a little bit of a chilly day and it's a fish that doesn't like to get cold and the box gets cold you really really don't want that to happen so you want to make sure you're there right when the fish is delivered when you do get the fish you want to open the box and take out the unopened fish bag obviously make sure the fish are alive and look like they're in good condition if for some reason they're not in good condition or they may be arrived dead you're going to want to take a picture of the fish inside the unopened shipping bag to show the seller. A lot of times the seller will have a live arrival guarantee only because they can't be held responsible for the way that you acclimated the fish or anything that happened to the fish after it arrived to you. Take a picture of the fish inside the shipping bag if you notice there's anything wrong with it when it arrives. Then what you want to do is leave the bag unopened and float it in your aquarium or pond for about 10 to 20 minutes just to make sure that the temperature matches. To minimize stress, remember to keep the aquarium lights off during this process and personally I actually like to keep the aquarium lights off for the first about 24 hours of a new fish being with me. Once the bag has been floating in your aquarium for about 10 to 20 minutes you can then open it but remember once you open the bag you're going to want to take the fish out as quickly as possible possible. So when you're ready to transfer the fish, open the bag and take the fish out either with your hands or a net. Personally for me, I like to use my hands with my goldfish, especially with bigger goldfish because they tend to have really big flowy delicate fins and I find I can be a lot more precise and gentle if I use my hands as opposed to a net for really big goldfish. You can also use a net too, it just depends on what kind of fish you have and what you're most comfortable with. So you just transfer the fish directly from the shipping bag into your aquarium. Then you're going to want to discard the shipping water and you want to try not to get any of it in your aquarium. It's not really a good idea to do that. Keep in mind the fish has been in that bag excreting waste and CO2 for the past upwards of 12 hours. So you really don't want to get that in your aquarium if at all possible. And that's it. It's that simple. Some people like to insist on doing drip acclimation of their new fish, which means that they open the bag and they start a siphon from their aquarium into the shipping bag over the course of minutes or sometimes even hours. Alternatively, what some people will do is just scoop water out of the aquarium and put it into the bag over the course of, again, minutes or hours. At first glance, these methods can actually seem like a good idea, but they can actually do a lot more harm than good, and I don't recommend them, and here's why. It's important to understand what's going on with the water chemistry inside the shipping bag so you can make really good decisions about how to best acclimate your fish. Your fish was likely packaged in a little bit of water with the rest of the bag being filled up with pure oxygen. During transit, your fish is, of course, breathing, which is using up the oxygen in the bag and replacing it with CO2 and also excreting ammonia at the same time. Because of this, there's gonna be a bit of a buildup of CO2 in the water, which normally would not be a very good thing, but in this case, it actually helps. More CO2 in the water means that the pH is kept low. In water with a lower pH, ammonia is much less toxic than the same amount of ammonia would be in a higher pH environment. So during transit anyways, this buildup of CO2 in the shipping bag is actually a good thing because it helps to keep the ammonia in the bag a lot less toxic for the fish. All of that is completely off the table though as soon as you open the shipping bag. As soon as you open that shipping bag, the CO2 begins escaping into the atmosphere, which drives the pH way, way up and makes the ammonia extremely toxic to the fish. Whereas that same exact amount of ammonia before you open the bag was a lot less toxic for the fish. So for this reason, if you open the bag and attempt to gradually acclimate the fish to your water parameters via drip acclimation or some other similar method, you're actually doing a lot more harm than good 
and you are exposing your fish to potentially irreparable gill damage, either from a pH spike or the ammonia spike or both. Some people try to address this issue by adding an ammonia neutralizer to the bag as soon as they open it, and while it will help with the ammonia spike, it won't do anything to address the pH spike that's gonna happen. So I know, it may seem too simple to be true, and usually things that sound too good to be true are too good to be true, but not in this case. All you need to do is float the bag for about 10 to 20 minutes to match the temperatures, open the bag and quickly transfer the fish from the bag to your aquarium, discard the shipping water and you're done. That's it. That's all you have to do. I've had some people ask me, yeah, but what about the other water parameters? Don't you have to acclimate to those? I usually respond by trying to get them to think about what other water parameters they may be talking about. If they're asking about ammonia, yes, there's going to be ammonia in the shipping bag and it's going to be pretty high and your ammonia in your aquarium is going to be different than that. I hope the ammonia in your aquarium is zero, at least it should be. So if you're talking about ammonia, as far as other parameters go, you really don't want to slowly acclimate your fish from an ammonia level of like four or six or eight down to zero. Any amount of ammonia is very, very toxic and especially at the high levels we're talking about, once you open that shipping bag, they're immediately deadly in some cases. You don't want to slowly acclimate your fish from a very, very toxic environment down to a non-toxic environment. You wanna get your fish out of that toxic environment immediately, as soon as possible. And if you're talking about nitrite, which is another water parameter you may be referring to, that shouldn't be an issue either. If the fish was packaged in fresh, clean water, the nitrite should be zero. In your aquarium, it should also be zero. At least I hope it is. Same with nitrate. Nitrate should be zero in the shipping water and in your aquarium, it should be very close to zero if you're adding a new fish. pH would be the only other one, especially if you have a fish that is really, really sensitive to any kind of pH change. For me personally, goldfish are not extremely sensitive. I have had really good luck just doing the temperature acclimation by floating the bag for 10 to 20 minutes and then plopping the fish right into the aquarium. I haven't had any issues doing it that way. I have, however, heard many, many stories where people had complete die-offs of their fish because they tried to drip acclimate the fish and they really shouldn't have. I think of it this way. There's already gonna be a slight pH change during travel. There's nothing you can do about that because the CO2 is gonna build up bringing the pH low. But as we talked about already, that's actually beneficial in this case. So that's one pH change that you're gonna have no matter what. I personally would rather take the fish from that situation and put it directly into the aquarium because I feel like that's less changes in pH as opposed to drip acclimation where the fish would go through that slight drop in pH over time during transit and then when you open the bag and leave the fish in the bag the pH is going to rise dramatically so that is a big shock to the fish and then you're going to over time try to acclimate the fish back down probably to whatever your aquarium pH is that's gonna be just adding another step, another change in pH that's completely unnecessary. The less change, the less stressed out your fish will be and the better it will be in the long run. If you're really concerned about pH, something else you can do is just ask your seller what their water parameters are like, specifically pH. If you're really concerned about it and if you have the option, try to buy from a seller who has a similar pH to what you have. Over the years, I've had a lot of questions about the way that I acclimate my goldfish to my aquariums because I've done a lot of unboxing videos where you guys can see that I simply just take the fish out of the bag and put it in the aquarium. A lot of people seem to be stuck in this mindset, which I think is kind of an old school way of thinking to where they think that you have to drip acclimate your fish or in some other way do basically the same thing where you're gradually acclimating the fish to your water parameter over the course of hours. Which actually the drip acclimation method may be just fine if you were purchasing a fish locally and driving it a very very short distance to your house. If the fish was only in the bag for that really short time the CO2 wouldn't have a chance to build up and none of this would be an issue at all. I also want to note that some fish are being shipped with what's called breathing bags. They allow you to package the 
of fish without any oxygen in the bag because the bag membrane itself is breathable. With fish that are packaged in breathing bags, you do not want to acclimate them in this way because floating the bag in the tank water will actually cause the membrane to no longer be breathable. So the fish could suffer a lack of oxygen if you do it that way. I do have instructions on my website that show you how to acclimate fish properly if they were sent to you in a breathing bag. So check that out. And also if the seller that you are working with sold you a fish and sent it to you in a breathing bag, just ask them for their acclimation instructions too. So I hope this answers some of your questions and hopefully you've learned something. I've been acclimating my fish this way for many, many years and I've had very good success with it. Remember also to pay close attention to the way the fish was packaged. If the fish was clearly packaged with care, it probably lets you know that the seller cares about the well-being of the fish that they're sending you. And I think it's always important as consumers to do what we can to purchase from people that are treating their animals in a humane and ethical way. If you wanna find out more about how you can tell if your fish was packaged with care, click on this video here. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos every single week to help you better understand your pets so you can care for them better. Also, if you are subscribed, hit that bell button too to become part of the Solid Gold Notification Squad and you'll be notified every single time I make a new video. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, stay gold.